Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 8th of 2020, well it is titled Wolf Rayet Star 124, a stellar wind machine. So what do we see here? Well, this is a star known as a wolf Rayet star. Uh, they are very rare and massive stars and extremely energetic. Now, the amount of energy that a star produces is dependent on its mass. So a very small star produces very little energy. A star like the sun would produce a little bit more, but extremely massive stars are producing a tremendous amount of energy. And that's because they have much higher temperatures in their core and therefore have very high nuclear reaction rates. The nuclear reaction rates increase much faster than the temperature. So doubling the temperature at a star would not just double, but would in double the nuclear reaction rates or the energy production, but would increase increase it many, many times. So these stars are producing a lot of energy and are therefore able to push more material away. Most stars would be bound together by gravity. Well, so are the wolf Rayet stars, but they are producing enough energy that in many cases they can expel large chunks of material out into space. So these stars are actually losing a lot of mass. And that's the material that we see around the central star here, is material that has been expelled outward because the star is producing enough energy to be able to expel massive amounts of material against its gravity. Now, all stars will eventually reach an end to their lives, and it is expected that stars like this Wolf Rayet star are the ones, are ones that may go supernova and might explode. Now, that will actually depend on how much mass is lost. So if they lose enough mass to bring their mass down under some critical limit that we don't completely understand, we know that very massive stars that are 30 or 40 or 50 times the mass of our own sun will probably go supernova. But the exact border between the star that will supernova and the one that won't quite make it is not precisely known. So if it loses enough mass, then it may not supernova and may turn into uh, a planetary nebula or lose its material in some other, other so form. Uh, but if it has enough mass, then eventually the core will become unstable, collapse in upon itself, and then explode outward in a massive supernova explosion. And that is what we believe is the likely uh, end state of something like this star. However, one of the problems is that we can never sit there and watch all of these stars as they go through their, their lives. Even though the time frame is relatively small when we speak about stellar evolution for this type of star, it is still much, much longer than a human lifespan or even many human lifespans, as a star like this may do something for tens of thousands of years, and therefore not something that we can sit there and watch and make a good comparisons as to exactly what happens with each type of star. So if the eventual outcome is not exactly known, but this is expected to be the type of star that may become a supernova. So that was our picture of the day from March the 8th of 2020. It was titled Wolf Ray Star 124 Stellar Wind Machine. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be light after sunset. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.